to photo adventures with Bonnie Renal as we reflect nature's artistry. Formed under an ancient sea and sculpted by the elements of wind, water, sand, and intense heat, Red Rock stands as a testimony to nature's artistry and the first creative power. Join me on part three of my photo exploration, Flora and Fauna, as I focus on the ecosystems in Red Rock Canyon and how they are interconnected. Survival in the desert is often a delicate balance. Therefore, a symbiotic relationship must exist between the soil, water, the plants, and the animals. For the numerous mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and insects, adaptation in the harsh environment is made possible by the unique utilization of shade, shelter, and sustenance. Creeks provide moisture for trees to grow along the banks, which create ideal habitats for wildlife. A calliope, one of North America's smallest hummingbirds, made her nest of creosote buds and webs on a shady branch in Pine Creek. The hummingbird feeds on the nectar of a desert paintbrush growing along the stream's bank, close to her nest. Seasonal precipitation recharges the groundwater, which collects in sandstone tanahas, where many of the 45 species of mammals at Red Rock can stop for a drink. Desert bighorn sheep are often seen on the steep, rocky terrain of La Madre Springs in Red Rock and only live within two miles of a permanent water source. While burrows brought over by the Spaniards in the 1500s have adapted well to the desert by feeding on native plants and grasses. A symbol of the American West, while horses also make part of the Red Rock Conservation Area their home, unlike domestic horses, wild horses are able to digest many of the grasses and plants that are native to the desert. Almost camouflaged to get some red sandstone of Wilson Canyon, a large number of paint horses roam between Wilson Tank and Bird Spring. Two wild mares and a stand of Joshua trees look up from their grazing. One of the most distinctive plants in Red Rock, the Joshua tree, appears to be lifting its limbs in prayer. Native to the Mojave Desert, the tree may live for 200 years years and only blooms after a wet winter. The Joshua tree provides habitats for many of Red Rock's wildlife. A cactus wren has woven her protective nest of grass in its sharp prongs. The desert tortoise escapes the heat by digging burrows in the sandy soil around Joshua trees. Many mammals like the black-tailed jackrabbit, are able to endure the desert heat by resting in the shade of larger plants. Stunning fuchsia blooms from a flowering redwood tree draws hummingbirds and bees to its nectar. The flowers and seeds are a food source for both humans and wildlife. Some mammals, like the red fox, are nocturnal to avoid the strong daytime sun. The small antelope ground squirrel survives the hot sun by cooling its body against the soil in a shaded area. As with rabbits, it receives moisture from eating green plants. Of the 100 birds that make Red Rock their permanent or seasonal home, Phoebe's flycatchers keep a close relationship with humans using string and thread for nesting material. This flycatcher's nest was built on a patio light at the visitor center. What would a desert be without its reptiles? And of the 30 that reside in the Red Rock area, most are harmless and just scurry away. A few reptiles, like the western rattlesnake, 
will defend their territory, so it's best to keep a safe distance. In nature, all creatures serve a purpose and deserve to be respected. Sitting in Red Rock Vista on a warm night, watching the moon rise, you might hear the song of a coyote in the distance. A gentle breeze flows with the scent of desert sage, and a peacefulness follows. The sky dims while the last rays of sun accent the bold sandstone. Red Rock thrives as one of nature's most diverse artistic creations.